The fate of a dozen retail shops in Grand Haven's Chinook Pier is up in the air ahead of a city commission meeting next week. Somebody's Michael Martin spoke to the city manager who says the most cost efficient option to deal with mold in the building may be to just tear it down. High water levels continue to cause headaches up and down the lakeshore and now a mold forcing these tenants to figure out where they're going to go next and leaving the city of Grand Haven scrambling to figure out how they're going to solve this problem. So many things we're dealing with in a waterfront community. This is just one more of them. After mold was uncovered inside one of the suites at Chinook Pier in Grand Haven this past summer, the urgent question became what to do now. So it wasn't traumatic public health exposure of any kind. It was just background mold that ought to be dealt with. Uh, and so with vacant buildings there, we started looking at the expense involved with doing the remediation. Until that discovery, a dozen businesses called the Pier Home. The city of Grand Haven acting as their landlord after purchasing the buildings from a private owner in 2004. We've had those buildings there for 40 years and never had this before. Now because the, the river water comes up, so does the groundwater underneath these buildings and it came up and got into the crawl space and created the mold. Small amounts of mold were found throughout the two main buildings on the pier. Since then, city manager Pat McGinnis says they've been working with the tenants to find them space elsewhere in the city to reopen their doors. You know, they were a little bit unhappy, many of them. This is their livelihood. There's a dozen tenants, so we're not talking about one or two. So far, McGinnis says they've made plans to move five of the businesses into this space, the historic depot building. So the city's doing what we can to help, but we're technically not on the hook. Um, neither are the businesses. You know, they don't have to pay the lease anymore. The city commission will meet Monday evening to discuss plans moving forward. McGinnis reminds everyone that no final decision has been made yet, and they are still open to all options. It's something that we need to take care of it, and the cost to take care of it is probably more than what the buildings are worth. Uh, so city council is going to have an interesting 2020. The reality is that you, know, you, you can't argue with mold. You can just yeah. take care of it. Now the city says come summertime, you should be able to find all your favorite businesses at different locations throughout the city. Just remains to be seen where. For more information about Monday's meeting, check out our web article at fox17online.com. For now in Grand Haven, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.